Welcome back to uh, the Pipes Drum series of uh, the castle recordings made by my father, Captain John A. McClellan, in the early 1960s in Edinburgh Castle. And we've got the second series of 10 tunes for you to enjoy. And uh, I'll make several remarks about two or three of these tunes. As usual, there are a, a wide range of tunes uh, some that will interest less experienced players and some of the very, very big tunes. The, the first one in the list of 10 that we have is the tune War or Peace, which is quite an unusual tune. And unusual because there's a famous painting of uh, Piper Mackay playing at the Battle of Waterloo, uh, supposedly playing this peeber, uh on this famous painting, and he's playing the F note which is unusual because there's actually no Fs in the tune, which is, which is quite funny about the tune. The next one on the list is the Praise March, and it's a, it's a wonderful sort of medium-length tune, and uh, I thought I'd put that one in because it's got a couple of twists in it that are of interest. Corin Essence Salute, the very well-known tune suited for almost all stages of playing. Uh, in Praise of Morag, who is a great big uh, attractive Tune mostly on, on the bottom hand. Uh, I put it in because my father won the his other gold medal with that tune in 1959 at Inverness. So I thought that would be of interest. Uh, Lament for Donald of Lagan, the tune that's been called the masterpiece in miniature. Uh, the first tune that I was taught by my father actually in in considerable detail, seven minutes long. One, wonderful, wonderful little tune. I thought it include the uh, rather drably named The Lament for the Dead. And this is a tune of which can be really quite monotonous in, in uh, less experienced hands. This recording is really, really interesting because my father plays it. And in the, in the first variation, doubling, I believe it is, he takes an absolutely wonderful turn where he where he turns the timing of uh, high A's kind of on their head and makes a completely different interpretation, which I believe is quite unique and uh, really, really makes a great difference to a tune, which in truth can be quite monotonous. The Queen's on Highlanders, Salute to the Queen's on Highlanders, is the first composition that my father made in uh, 1962 or so, and it's a very, very good tune. Things like the Lead for the Old Sword, the Laird of Contolix Lament, and the Mackay Short Tune round out this really interesting uh, second group of 10 tunes in the series. So I hope you enjoy them. Uh, there's a lot of variety in there and a lot of good listening. Mm -hmm. 